Hey guys, it is your girl Grace, and today I'm gonna go at you with a stag tutorial. And don't forget to like this video, not just because you like me, but if you like the video. So let's get straight into it. So first you guys are gonna wanna stretch. So go into your pipe and reach as far as you could go for about 10 seconds. Yeah, just warming up your legs. Now go into your butterfly and go, yeah, like a butterfly. Just like flap your wings. And now to stretch your arms, you're just going to want to go back and then go over with your hand and go like this and then go back and then go over with your hand like this and then after that you're gonna go back again over back over just to stretch out your arms when you hold your handstand and next just go into your seal pose for about like four or five seconds because you don't need that much stretching so, go into your seal pose. One, two, three, four, and five. So, after that, you're going to want to practice your handstand a couple times so you'll get ready to go into your stag. So, for your handstand, you want good posture. So, you put your hands up all the way to the air like this. Put one foot out and go into your handstand and out. In and out. In and out. So for your um, stag handstand, you just, you're going to want to practice which one's your good leg to go up with. Because this really struggled with me. Because because this is my lead leg in the splits and I didn't realize that when you're in your handstand that would be your leg if you're looking at someone from the front that would be your leg but when you go up that leg that you feel comfortable with is going up <laughs> is going up last and once you do that you're gonna wanna do like a split position not like all the way split but like kind of like this and we're going to want to bend each knee and it's going to look kind of like this and you're going to want to point your toes if you want I mean I think it helps me I don't point my toes all the way but I point them kind of like that and I think sags are really fine and you guys should just practice. Usually I practice like, you know how you're trying to get your front walk over and you practice kicking over onto like a couch? That really helps. You go over and then just hold it in the air not touching the couch and then you should be able to do it. I practice on a wall also so you guys can also do that. I can show you what that looks like. And we are going to kick over, but then the next time, you're going to hold it in the air. So it'll look like this the first time. And then the second time, you'll try to hold it in the air, kind of like this. And that will be your stag, and just practice that until you can get it um, on the flat floor. Well, it is on the flat floor, but without the couch right there. So it is time for you guys to try it on your own. And it should look like this. Okay, so it should look like this. You put your hands up to the sky. And then you go up.
him down. So, I hope you guys like, subscribe, and comment what gymnastic stuff you want me to do next. And you wonder why <laughs> I'm wearing shorts in, like, the middle of fall. But it's really nice out right now. So... Goodbye.